Despite growing calls for a ceasefire, the violence in northern Sri Lanka is rising. These pictures, filmed by Tamil broadcasters, show the latest civilians caught in the crossfire. They're under constant attack, trapped in a volatile war zone as government forces fight Tamil Tiger rebels. The casualties are mounting. No aid workers are allowed here, and that's something the UN desperately wants to change. Its most senior humanitarian official, John Holmes, is in Sri Lanka negotiating with the government. Behind these relaxed appearances is a tense urgency. We're working collectively almost every minute of every day trying to build the pressure on the Sri Lankan government um, to allow the access that is necessary to humanitarian relief to the people who are caught in the conflict um, and to get some independent monitoring of those people who are coming out. The political pressure is now growing. The Foreign Secretary David Miliband has announced plans to visit Sri Lanka later this week. Such is the international frustration and concern. The Tamil rebels have been pushed back and now only control a tiny area of land thought to be no more than five square miles. The UN says there are 50,000 civilians still here. 109,000 fled last week. And this is where they've headed, vast camps filled with tents. But with so many arriving, the pressure on aid is increasing, with long queues for food. But these refugees are lucky to have escaped. The UN believes 6,500 civilians have been killed. And as the military pushes further, there are fears that figure will rise. The Tamil offer of a ceasefire today was quickly rejected by the Sri Lankan government. It maintains surrender is the only option. And so for now the army advances and this chaotic conflict continues. Laura Bundock, Sky News.